Good evening, humans. Transverse Moth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the WWE Elite 87 Asuka figure from Mattel. Asuka is just an amazing wrestler, a fantastic human being from what I can tell, and this figure is pretty decent, so let's take a look at it. Let's do this. Aesthetically speaking, Mattel did a great job here, and uh, you know there, there's a lot of details here, and I think that's kind of part of what makes this figure great, so let's take a look at it. And uh, first off, like the head sculpt, the face printing technology absolutely captures uh, Kaneshan's just like vibrance. <laughs> and uh, that that's really, really cool. I love that, you know, the, even the, the kind of green dripping makeup just like comes along really cleanly. Uh, there's a couple of splotches of green paint on mine in various spots of the hair, which is a little unfortunate. And, you know, I can kind of see how that happens, certainly on a mass scale. But uh, in the general scheme of things, like even the ombre here from the yellow gradient coming into the green looks really fantastic. Like they did a great job here. Uh, Asuka's ring gear is fairly intricate, but you've got all these designs and all the paint is very crisp with the exception of this one point here at the garter. Um, just, you know, kind of a little smudge there. But other than that, like all the details are very, very crisp. So I really got no complaints there. Uh, proportions are great, and it just looks like an awesome wrestling figure. So that's aesthetics. Accessories here for Asuka are very basic, and uh, you know that that's okay for an elite. I honestly hope Asuka gets an ultimate edition at some point, but uh, for now, this definitely works. And uh, so we'll get right into it with hands, and uh, right out of the box, we get our standard C grip hands. So. You know, again, looking good and continuing on with the arm, uh, arm warmer she has on as part of her gear. And then, uh, let's see if that'll balance, that will. And then we go on to the other pair of hands, which are just kind of open, open palm, relaxed hands, which again, really well sculpted, work really well with the figure, uh, continue that paint scheme. And then finally, we have the mask, which is really well detailed, paints pretty de decently crisp and, uh, yeah, really like the shade of gold they used for the uh, tassels here. So really well done. And that is accessories. When it comes to articulation, we definitely have some some decent range for Asuka, but though absolutely some limitations as well. So we're going to get into that right now from top to bottom as we do. And uh, pardon me bumping into my ring here. Um, but for the head, uh, obviously the hair is going to limit your range of motion. Um, but here, like we're not even going to get any down or up like we're pretty much just on a swivel here uh, even though there's a ball joint in there so we're really just getting left to right uh, then we come to the shoulders we're coming up to our t-pose we have some bicep swivel so that's going to move we are single jointed at the elbows so we're going to come to about 90 there and then we have hinge and swivel at the wrist uh, all horizontal hinges on all of the hands we have a ball joint at the diaphragm so that's gonna bring us all the way around. So we're gonna get some side to side, some front. Uh, so that's about as much crunch forward as we're gonna get back. That's as much crunch back. Uh, we have a swivel at the waist. So we're gonna be able to go all the way around. Then we come to the hips and we got some okay. We, we definitely got like a decent amount of split there. So that is the hips. And then we get thigh swivel. We get double jointed knees. You can, as you can see, you can move the um, arm, uh, the arm, <laughs> the, the uh, knee pad here and uh, get a little bit more. So you're gonna come cool, just a little bit past 90. I mean, obviously if you remove that, you're gonna get more. Uh, and then we get boot swivel. And as we do with all elites, we get insane amounts of point. We get insane amounts of forward and then just the slightest bit of pivot there for the ankle rocker. And that's articulation. Getting in size comparisons, here is Asuka with some other wrestling figures. With some Hasbro. With some imports. With some monsters. Finally, with an Articulate Icons Oni and yours truly in human form as an Articulate Icons Ninja. So my final thoughts on the WWE Elite 87 Oscar figure is that this is another solid entry into the Elite series. And uh, 
I, I know I say that for a lot of figures, but I mean, that's that's kind of true. I think when there's definitely some flaws and it's not like overly good or overly bad, it just kind of sits in the middle. Like that's it for me. It's definitely a solid figure. Uh, there's definitely things I would have liked to have seen, but I realize that they're not gonna do that with an Elite series. Uh, again, I kind of hope that Asuka gets uh, Ultimate Edition at some point because uh, they absolutely deserve it and it's just, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it, as it stands, they're doing a great job here. So uh, if you wish to pick this up, I will definitely have links in the description below for where you can get it at any major online retailer. And uh, yeah, beyond that, um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this review informative and somewhat entertaining. And if you did, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, and or sharing. And beyond that, I will have other ways to support the channel in the description below, not limited to the Patreon that I recently started. So please check that out. And one last time, ultra thanks to you for watching and I hope you take care of yourself, take care of those around you, and most importantly, stay weird, Simeons.